All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. Look at all these epic lasers. Now, this is Zombie 20's idea as to the clone attack on the Jedi Temple. Oh my god. Oh my god, it was an absolute massacre. Now, we have we should have Anakin running around as a uh, super boxer. He did. Uh, let's see. We've got Yoda as the super peasant, who is the lone hope for the Jedi. So, we're going to be going over this suggestion, but thank you to everybody who left what are you doing yoda yoda stop it are you what this isn't even slow motion did he get hit with a cube i think i'm not sure if he got hit with a cube or what but i've never seen this before i think he's just joyriding out there look at look. i think there's a glitch in the matrix guys but i i'm gonna have to say that like i'm curious to see what happens like it's like stuck in slow-mo, but not stuck in slow-mo. Like these guys are stuck in slow-mo. I feel like they may have gotten glitched out by a box or something. Anyway, what an introduction to another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. So you can see, Zombie 20's suggestion is the attack on the Jedi Temple. We've got the Jedi in blue. We've got three Jedi Masters, 35 Saber guys as Padawans. One super peasant as Yoda, even though technically wasn't he on Kashyyyk at the time. One axe man as a Jedi Master, a ninja master, and a samurai master as a ninja Jedi and a Jedi fanatic. Now, the clones of the 501st, those helping Anakin slaughter children, you bastards. 55 laser guys as regular clones. 15 mega laser sniper dudes <laughs> as the veteran clones. Three Teslas as flamethrowers, two cannons as rocket launchers, ten muskets as bounty hunters, and one super boxer as Anakin, the child killing Darth Vader himself. So let's see what happens at the beginning. Because I'm actually kind of surprised that all these lightsaber men just got absolutely obliterated. See, this one kind of seems like it's doing a marginally better. There's more lightsaber guys alive at this point. Yeah, see, this battle was totally different. And here, a cube went off and totally wrecked stuff. Yoda the super peasant's doing pretty good work. All the Jedi's are now dead, except for Yoda. He's not glitched out right now. You can see he's definitely charging the enemy. We're not even slow mowing this. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, man. Whoa, we got some friendly fire by the beam rifles. A cannon just missed Yoda. I think those... Be I'm I can't tell if those beam rifles are missing or hitting him and doing damage. Now, so one of the things that was brought up in the last episode... What? A cube just evaporated those guys back there. You're gonna need to go fast, Yoda. Jeez, look at that. Rex the cannon, come on, dude. You gotta do this for the Jedi, man. Do it for the Jedi. Oh, there's only one left, and he killed them all. Oh, yes, we have a Yoda victory in the house. Okay, so I wanna do something a little bit different. Although the Jedi's, the the element of surprise um, is on the clones, but you know what? There were a few Jedi's that were like out on different levels of the building and I want to start this and I want to see what happens in the background as they jump down. Do they die? Do they jump to their deaths or are they going to be able to use like their force powers and get up? <laughs> that was literally just like a cult. Oh my god and now like all the Jedi's are getting wrecked. Jeez, and it's just Yoda once again, and I think this time he is going to be down for the count, so Zombie 20. Look at all that just beamer rifle fire, man. It's just an absolute massacre. I feel like what we need, Anakin the Super Boxer, I don't know what happens to him, but he dies early on. I think it's friendly fire probably from the beam rifles. And Yoda doesn't look like he's doing too well. There's this one clone, and he couldn't even kill him. He got destroyed that time. But man! All right, so we're gonna have to change things up. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put these special forces over here. We're gonna put the Samurai Master up close, Ninja Master sneaking around here. Uh, maybe. I don't know if that's gonna protect him at all. And then we had one Axeman, right? Let's see if that changes the fates of these guys at all. They're going in. Oh, that guy got donked by a cube. I think it's gonna go off. Oh no, the bear man's gonna get donked. He did. Oh, some of the Jedi survived. I don't know what the Jedi, the ninja master's doing. He is sucked up. Oh, come on, dude. Yes! Oh my god, he fell on the ground and literally died. He was right there. Now these guys are just target practice. 
And but we have Yoda alive and he's distracting that that uh Ninja Master I think may have done enough to distract. Guys, we have a couple more including this is the only Star Wars battle this time. If you have a suggestion for the next Toliak Battle Simulator custom battles, and I surely hope you do, please put it in the comments below. If you see one you like, make sure to like it so that it's more than likely to be chosen in the next video. But right now, musketmen don't have good gun elevation. There's only three beamer rifles left. All Yoda has to do is put his mind to that shit, and then he wins. And then he wins. Because the Jedi must prevail. We need to bring balance to the Force. And not by killing everybody, hopefully. Alright guys, so this next one comes in and oh my god, I can see the lag already because we have so many peasants. I need to upgrade my computer, truly. This one has served me well for a year or two, but it's just, they can be so expensive. So, this one is brought to us by Satsfin. It's the Zombies vs. Humanity. So, on the zombie side, there's a crap ton of peasants, thieves, barbarians, and farmers. Let's just start this battle, because it is going to take a little bit of time to develop. Oh my god, the double spawning. Why do you have to crush my dreams, double spawning? I swear, double spawning was even worse today than it has ever been. Alright, so we did a slow-mo on the lag. Oh, this is great. Okay, all you have to do is do slow motion on the lag, and frames triple, which is fantastic. This is an amazing pro tip. So this is the Human Alliance. The backstory is it's 2156, the Cold War II has started 10 years ago. Nuclear weapons are outdated, and the super countries, USA, China, and Russia, begin the production of a long-feared bioweapons program. On the 10th of March, the weapon launches. A week later, the victims rise from the ash with one reason, to live, to kill. And the human side is composed of a super boxer's Russia, Trump and Hillary as the United States of America. A super peasant as China, 10 energy swords as Britain, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, Austria, Australia, Egypt, Canada, Brazil, and India. And 50 footmen as smaller countries. Now I put musket men in. But you can see with the zombies having barbarians, peasants, and thieves. Oh my god, my frames are so good right now. This is definitely the way to do huge battles, guys. Like, alright, so if I drop it, actually we're at like 40 frames now. Like now that the armies have been, you know, weakened. But I'm thinking that with all these super weapons, there should only be like one super boxer. I mean, there's only one Russia, right? Or are there two? Who's left alive? What are you guys trying to do? There's one farmer stuck here. Oh, we survived. Guys, this is great news. Humanity has survived. Okay, so even now, it just lags. It's amazing how slow-mo actually enables this game to stabilize. So what if we do... Footmen, like he suggested, instead of musketmen. That'll be interesting to see. Now, I'm not going to do 50 footmen because, as you can see in the last battle... Alright, so here we go. The blue units have 34 units, right? Look at that. They went down to 32. Okay, so that was the super boxer, right? Which we need to put in. There we go. Three. And that's two super peasants. There we only have one. Ah, see, there was two Trumps. There we go. And now are there two Hillary's? There are two Hillary's, man. The double spawning is real. All right, guys, so I think now, oh, wait a minute, is that four and then six? Okay, that works, that's 10, all right. So now, lag, 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 pressing slow motion and stabilization has been acquired. So let's see how Hillary and Trump, they've united. They have put aside their differences in that caustic election and have decided to protect humanity from the zombie apocalypse. They're both doing pretty good. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Oh, I was gonna say. China and Russia are out doing their thing. Dude, look at that. The super peasant. Dude, thank you, Satspin. Okay, we've had a lot of Star Wars themed ones and it's fun to see some new ones. Granted, now that we have the Neon Faction, there's gonna be like probably a Star Wars themed suggestion in each of the videos but this is just glorious look at that the minor nations could that be india right there fighting to the death honorably india you will protect us dude trump's building walls dude see that's the thing man let's just say theoretically trump actually built the wall and then like all of a sudden the zombie apocalypse started in mexico maybe trump's from the future huh and all of a sudden like oh we, we can protect ourselves from the zombie apocalypse 
All right, so frames are still low, so we're gonna keep it slow-mo. Dude, all of the other allies with, oh yeah, actually one of the minor factions. India is a lightsaber. Oh my God, that was Slovakia. Slovakia just perished. Slovakia was that footman. Dude, look at these lightsabers just wrecking zombies. All right, real talk. Wouldn't you love to have a lightsaber in a zombie apocalypse scenario? Of course you would. Zit, zit. Dude, just wrecking zombie house. Trump needs to build the wall to protect against the zombie apocalypse. That's exactly what needs to happen. Okay, I think this battle's pretty much over, guys. We have done it. So we executed Order 66 on another attack of the Jedi Temple. Who's alive? That guy. That guy was alive? We've got two new, completely unique suggestions coming up now. All right, guys, so in this next suggestion, it is brought to us by, ooh, give me a moment, Rupin Dirjit Singh Danda. Yeah, did I do it right? It's YouTube versus the YouTubers. Now, you guys and myself and a few other YouTubers are on this side. I am the super peasant, I am leading this army. You guys are the boxers. Now, I just want to put out Singh, or we're going to call him Danda. Danda said you guys should be peasants, but I think of you not as peasants, but as my brave warrior brethren. So I made you boxers. Now we've got Musketmen and Ali A with his M16. We've got a couple of farmers as strategy gamers. Um, this was supposed to be a super boxer and boxers to represent... den cops in fighting youtubers but you know what uh, you guys are boxers so i made them barbarians because they're also fighters and we've also got a few ninjas and a super ninja here and those ladies and gentlemen are the U sport youtubers like mini mentor was the suggestion because you know they're more dynamic and do sporty things now the enemy here youtube itself is one dark peasant as the owner of youtube he's in the back let's go ahead and start this We'll do a little bit of slow motion as the uh, battle lines close. Now I'm hoping that we can prevail here. So one of the thoughts was that the this kind of strategy is, you know, it's really important that we keep the M16 alive. So let's see how he does, basically. But And then here's me. Guys, here I am. So it's YouTube versus the YouTubers. Basically, YouTube is having YouTubers views and subscribers go down. So YouTubers want revenge. Look at this. Oh, we actually had a double spawn of two ninja masters, which is good because we're gonna need all the help we can get to kill the Dark Peasant. I think the Dark Peasant has like 50,000 hit points and I don't think he's been shot once quite yet. And the M16, Ali A is deciding not to fire on the Dark Peasant and we're losing all of our army here, guys. Here I am trying to battle him. Baron the Super Peasant. Help us, Baron, you're our only hope. Dude, I don't know. I don't think our chances are good. In fact, like, I don't even know if I'm hitting. Oh my god! People's bodies are crashing into me. Alright, we're just gonna we're just gonna see what happens here. Oh my god, he got behind our army. The M16's gonna get overrun by me of peasants! He might get killed by a peasant. No, one of you brave fellows has saved the M16. Oh, here's a shield man. Yo, M16 guy. We might have to reposition him. Oh, he dead now. Oh no. Guys, it seems the YouTube algorithm has won. Well, actually, I'm still alive, but I don't know how much longer that's gonna last for because this is not looking good. Oh wait, no, that's a super box. Oh my God, YouTube, you fucked it up again, YouTube. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put the M16 further in the back. And you know what? I'm calling in memes. I'm calling in Hillary and Trump as memes and then we need a harambe who would be a good harambe the chicken man man is harambe he will help us now let's see what other what other memes do we need you know what maybe maybe that's enough because sometimes you need memes to fight the youtube algorithm all right so the super boxer's running up i hope he gets in there and starts wrecking people ninja master's already up go super boxer boom 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 here comes the dark peasant though now is our M16, our M16, it just never fires at the Dark Peasant. So that's the problem. I've never seen a Dark Peasant fight the Chicken Man Man though. So that should be pretty epic actually. Like what if, what all these chickens getting sucked up in his gravitational force, but they do damage every time they hit him, right? But 50,000 hit points is 50,000 hit points, guys. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
No! You bastard! He killed our chicken man man right away. Oh, there's a chicken man dancing with him. He throws him to the ground. Oh my god, unceremoniously. We have a few chicken men in the background, but they are not true creations by us YouTubers. They were only memes. Guys, it looks like us as YouTubers and viewers are as a community, we lost to the YouTube algorithm. We need we need a response. So I hope you guys are coming up with some creative stuff. Because we need a better way. YouTube algorithm it will always be the dark peasant. We, it, it is mysterious and we don't understand its techniques. You know what? Hmm, what about, what about, what about? You know what we're gonna bring in? Beamer rifles. Boop! This is the only way. And we're gonna put a box gun in the front. And a gravity dude. And some Tesla guys. And this is the way we do it. This is the way we fight back. Alright, gravity dude, do your thing. It's your thing! I'll do what you wanna do. Dude, I want this guy to kill her, buddy, is what I want him to do. Is it working? The box gun? Oh, we lost the Tesla coil. These Tesla guns. <laughs> that was in slow motion, and that thing just flew across the map. Oh, the headbutter's going after the Tesla. Go, Tesla. Lift your gun up and fire behind you. Do a, do a 360 no scope, you noob. Oh, the Tesla coils have engaged the Dark Peasant, and they're doing well. How many. Wait, if there are Tesla guys can kill the Dark Peasant? Oh no, they're getting overrun! Oh no, that was bad. Alright, so now the armies clash. We've got a Trump running out there and go... Just wrecking him, wrecking him, wrecking him. He's, he's working on his plans for the wall. The beam rifles, I think, just killed a Trump. Traitors. Killing our memes. Dude, now the blue army is alive and doing well, I think. Who, who are you throwing at? There's no one back there. All right, now it's everybody versus the Dark Peasant. We refuse to be defeated by the YouTube algorithm and it getting rid of subscribers and dropping views and all of that crazy stuff. I heard that the YouTube algorithm, real talk for a moment, was over like a million lines of code and that's longer than the Bible. I mean, that's a long book. Like, that's kind of nuts, isn't it? All right, boxers, now this is you guys. I hope you knock them out. Charge! Dude, look at all those chickens. Oh, yeah, we just did it. We defeated YouTube. We defeated him. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this, I'm going to slow it down just so I can read it. This suggestion was brought to us by Nerdudrin N. Now, this is the computer versus the viruses, and I love the detail that was put into it. So the red or the virus, we've got two Hillary's for email spammers, two box guns for hacked games generator, four chicken man for virus spammers, one chicken man man here as the virus. Oh my god. I think they're gonna win. Oh no. The virus has won this first battle. So here's the suggestion, right? A chicken man man as the virus, two beam rifles for hardware executors. In the blue, the blue side here, we've got one projectile sh shield for antivirus spam, four energy pistols for antivirus software, an M16 back there is the firewall. We've got a chicken man man as the computer or gravity dude for a virus tracker and three energy swords for agents. So we're gonna play this one again. We're obviously, what is, what is this guy doing? Is he attacking my own units? And he just died? You bastard. Oh no, the box guns are, look at the emails. The emails and the chickens, oh my God. This is real bad, dude. Look at the, the neon boxers wrecking the chicken man man. Oh my God. All right, so we're gonna have to adjust this. I don't know why that guy sucked so bad. Our projectile shield did nothing. So I'm gonna put him on the front and see if that does anything differently. He can't block emails. I just learned that. He cannot block the emails at all, so it's like... All right, the M16's alive. The chicken man man just kicked over the M16. Now he's getting emailed. He's about to get box gunned. He's getting beam rifled, dude. It, uh, what? We need something better. We need something better. So our computer, we're gonna change the computer to a super boxer. We're gonna see if that does anything. And then we are going to add a few energy pistols because the energy pistols were virus software. We're gonna need a lot of virus software. How's that for virus software? Get out of here, viruses. Oh no, the cube. 
The cube! It wasn't hit. Oh my god, the beam rifle's killing everybody and everything. Our super boxer's still alive, though. He has a chance. He just... Nope. He, he, he literally just died, as I said. That Guys, we're getting our butts kicked. These box guns are the main problem. So we're gonna recruit some of them to our side. And we need one energy master here. Oh my god, it's a double. It's a double. That is the only thing that bugs the shit out of me in this game is double spawning. What happened to that box gun? He's hovering. He's shooting downwards. He just died to emails. Oh yeah. Look at that. We won. We've defeated the viruses. Dude, a brilliant, brilliant and unique suggestions today. Guys, keep them up. So tomorrow I'm gonna be streaming War Thunder in the morning on my other channel, and I'm wondering if I should stream Tabs or Astroneer on this channel also, maybe in the afternoon or early evening. I have not decided quite yet, no promises, but I do know I wanna stream again. It, every time I go on a trip, it always messes things up a little bit. We're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and start this, do it slow-mo while, so you guys have something to talk about. What is this guy doing? He's flying. I love how every now and then there's just these random glitches. Gravity Dude! He's going off. Is he gonna go off before his email? The emails kill him. Oh, he is sucking in all of this. And there's a, a an energy sword master there to chop up anything that falls into it. So that's brilliant combination there. But yeah, so if you've watched the video this far, I want you to I want you to put in the chat. Hmm. Hashtag D's nuts in the comments. So I know that you guys have watched the entire video. But it looks like there's just a chicken man, man. We don't have any heavy artillery. We just got a few. Well, actually, we got an M16 in the back. So we're going to speed this up. But yeah, so leave your suggestions for the next custom battles. We do have a box gun over there. We have two box guns, actually. I think there was a double spawn on the box gun, and that's why it's so derpy. But that M16, man, is great at taking out the chicken man, man. Remember when the boss was only the chicken man? Then we got the chicken man, man. Then we got the Dark Peasant. Oh my god, things have escalated quickly. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I hope you check out the Astroneer series, as it's a game I've fallen in love with, in addition to Tabs. And I'd love to make that another, like, regular Let's Play series on the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baron. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your suggestions for the next custom battles in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video.